What's up guys, in this short tutorial, I will show you how to fix lag and FPS drops when streaming using Streamlabs OBS. This should be quite an easy tutorial, but if you still have any questions, then leave a comment and let me know. Lag can be induced by an unreliable network connection, or because your PC's components don't utilize enough resources. Open up Streamlabs OBS and navigate to your settings by clicking on this gear icon on the bottom left of your window. On this window, navigate to the Output tab and set the Output mode to Advanced. Under Streaming, set the Audio Track option to 2 or more, in case you're using multiple microphones or other inputs. Set the encoder to Hardware NVENC, in case you're using a powerful enough NVIDIA graphics card. The encoder will then render your stream using your graphics card, which will take the load of your CPU but in case you plan on streaming gameplay, then make sure that the game is not too taxing on your GPU. In case this does not apply to you, or you feel like your processor is efficient enough, then set this option to Software X264. Next, make sure to check the Enforce Streaming Service Encoder Settings option, and don't select to rescale your output. Below, set the Rate Control option to CBR, which stands for Constant Bitrate and your bitrate to a value your network connection and system can handle. In case you're unsure about your bandwidth, then visit speedtest.net. Everything you need will be listed in the description below. This website will give you a good idea about your up and download speed, as well as your latency. Make sure that your ping remains below 100 milliseconds, and that your upload speed is at least 6 megabytes per second which you will need to stream in 720p and use web applications, or to stream in 1080p without putting too much stress on your upload connection. After verifying your network connection, you should be able to set your bitrate accordingly. I will set it to 3700, which is more than enough to stream in 720p and 60fps. In case you wish to stream in 1080p, then set this to about 5000 which will in turn only work when using a reliable network connection, which can steadily hold your upload speed. In case you struggle with your connection, then I suggest to use an Ethernet cable to ensure the best possible connection, and restart your router or modem if you haven't done this in a while. Don't use a custom buffer size and set the keyframe interval to 2 seconds. Below, set the CPU usage preset according to your processor speeds. For older and slower CPUs, use the preset super fast, and for newer and faster models, use faster or even fast. Below, set the profile to main and leave the other settings to their default values. Next, in your video tab, set the base resolution to your native monitor resolution, and the output resolution to the resolution which you want to stream in. I suggest setting this to 720p for low to mid NPCs as this will be a lot less taxing to your system's components and network connection. When streaming, I prefer to set the downscale filter to be cubic, and to length source when recording on OBS. Below, set the FPS type option to common FPS values, and common FPS values to 30, 48 or 60, depending on what works best for you and your viewers. In case you're not sure about which frame rate and output resolution to choose, then I suggest making a test stream to see what looks best without lagging on your system. In your advanced settings, set the process priority option to above normal, and below under network, make sure that the bind to IP option is set to default. When this is done, you can close the settings window. To further improve your network connection and reduce lag while streaming, we will make a few changes to some of your default window settings. First of all, search for CMD and hit enter. The next two commands are listed in the description below. Ping google.com. This command will check your latency and packet loss to Google servers. If your ping is higher than 100 milliseconds, or if you encounter any packet loss, then you should make a few changes to your connection and follow the next tweaks. Use the command ipconfig slash flush DNS. This will flush and reset the content of your DNS resolver cache. Using this command will in any case improve your latency issues. 
You can now exit out of your command's prompt and open up your task manager. Here, navigate to your resource monitor as you can see in the video. In the network tab, open up the processes with network activity. And after a few seconds, you will see every process using your network connection. This might be a browser running in the background, Steam or a download but lacking your connection. I suggest you to only add the processes which you know won't break your operating system. Below, you can also preview your network utilization in percent. Next, you should make sure that your firewall is not blocking parts of the software. Search for firewall in your taskbar search to open up your firewall and network protection system settings window. On this window, select to allow an app through firewall. Select to change settings and then allow another app. Select Browse and your file explorer will open up. Navigate to the drive on which you saved Streamlabs on, Program Files, Streamlabs OBS and here select the Streamlabs OBS application and select Open. This will allow you to exclude the application from being blocked by your firewall and will for some users reduce the lag while in-game. Next, I suggest deleting your temporary files as these can induce lag if your hard drive is cluttered. Search for percentage temp percentage and hit enter. This folder contains all of your temporary files, saved by your programs and should be deleted. You can safely delete everything in this folder. Some files might remain, so just leave them there. You should also make sure to reduce the amount of scenes and high resolution overlays in Streamlabs, as these could induce lag while streaming on a low to mid-end PC. When this is done, make sure that your graphics card driver and operating system is up to date. I suggest using the GeForce Experience application if you're using an NVIDIA GPU, but you can also use the AMD driver suit. Depending on how frequently you're updating your GPU, this tweak can make the biggest difference. In the Drivers tab, simply click on Download and the application will automatically download and install the latest driver. When this is done, search for Update to open up your Check for Updates System Settings window. Here, click on Check for Updates and after downloading the latest OS update, make sure to restart your PC. In case you need more information about how to fix lag while using Streamlabs OBS, then click on the first link in the description below. I hope this helped you out. Leave a comment if you have any questions and see you in the next one.